Hey guys, welcome. No my hiding my Tenara Toto Kartor. Um uh, you're watching Bin Living with uh, Big B. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're first time watching, I appreciate you being here. Um, if you've watched one of my videos before, then welcome back. And if you've watched them all, then I just I couldn't even express how much I appreciate your time and, and how much I love you um, for doing that. So I'm so grateful and so thankful. So um, anyway, today uh, the video is all about cooking with the dumpster food that I found um, last night, which uh, if you saw the last video I posted up, I um, went to Aldi's uh, dumpster, um, did my first food dive and um, didn't do uh, too bad actually. So it uh, dawned on me that, well, since you got the food, let's cook with it. Um, so today I'm just going to make a real basic uh, bacon and egg, or not a basic bacon and egg sandwich. I'm going to be um, using bread that I found from the dumpster. I'm also going to be using the bacon that I found at the dumpster. I checked the uh, expiry date on this and it expires on the 24th of the 12th of 2019. So... It's still good. It's still vacuum packed, sealed. Uh, the the looks quality wise still looks very good, and I'm not even worried about that. I'm not even concerned. Um, also got some eggs that I got from the dumpster. I got two dozen. I'm going to um, cut up some bell pepper that I found last night. Also and um, saute those off and I'm going to flavor it with some sweet basil and add some flavor in there so um, yeah let's get started only thing that I won't be using that uh, didn't come out of the dumpster is um, the oil and butter but everything else is dumpster food okay see Let's heat up our pan. Just get that nice and warm. That's the oil I was talking about. Uh, so yeah, um, just want to do a big shout out to everyone and, and express my appreciation for those that have um, subscribed to my channel. Um, I'm, I'm so grateful and, and feeling really blessed. A uh, real big shout out to uh, Jersey Girl and her support, Grab It Fast, um, Pauline, the deep diver, dumpster diver in Cincinnati. Uh, uh, there's so many, Closet Diver, uh, Frugal Nanny, uh, Scrap Dog, um, you know, there, there, there's so many and, and, and my love for you, uh, for all of you is, is genuine and real, so... I'm just so grateful. So while the pan's heating up, I was thinking about, because I've got like mun mushrooms and onions, because I'm hearty like that. Hearty like that. But I just thought I'd just keep it real. So anyway, uh, when I posted my, um, my video, it was um, about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. It was quite a late um, dive. <laughs> in, the, in the veil of darkness so here's the bacon I mean it feels like it should it smells like it should and um, I'm not even worried about that um, I don't know how you fellas like your bacon but um I just like mine cut up a little bit, just makes it cook a little bit quicker. Just for me, and it sits on my toast a little bit better. Now, are you able to see it down there? Let me just prop that down a little bit. There we go. Yep. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make two sandwiches. Make two of them. So, anyway, uh, yeah, it was late at night. Um... 
I got my did my video like early in the morning because I really wanted to go in and refrigerate, you know, the, the stuff that needed to be refrigerated. And um sorry about that. And yeah, so um, I thought it would be a It's hot, it's damn hot. You know when that thing pops, bit of moisture in there. I don't know what the hell they do the bacon and that over in the States, but here in Aust Australia sometimes they pump it with water to add weight to the pork and to the bacon. So I'm going to quickly just cut up some, I don't need all of it, I just need a, just a few bits, but I want to cut it in the julienne strips, I'm actually going to dice it up, you know if there was one thing that I, I wish I would find um, in the in the dumpster, it would be a good set of knives, these ones are okay, but they could be better. In there. Just do a little bit more. Yeah, so just a, a, a big shout out to my dumpster diving YouTube family. Just uh, so much mad love out there for you guys. Um, you know, um, I love the uplifting and the positivity about it all. You know, I, I, I still see that um, we're exposed to a lot of trolling and all that. But, you know, I've never ever let that... Uh, I, I, it used to phase me. It, it really used to really used to get to me. But I sort of don't let it phase me anymore. I, I use it as fuel, as motivation. Now, I'm going to start chucking these aromatics straight in there get some of that flavor I don't need a lot the sweet basil is a real strong and pungent herb so I don't need too much of it it doesn't need to be cut up that much it'll wilt away and add up a little bit of color So um, now I've showered up, I'm washed and cleaned and ready for the day. Here's my little handy little thing. Now how do you guys like your bacon? I'm not a crispy bacon fan myself. I'm, I like mine soft, a bit cooked all the way through. But not crispy. I like mine soft. Mmm. I'm just going to add a little bit of seasoning to that. Always going to season the food. Bacon's already pretty salty, but I don't mind a little bit of salt, to be honest. Some pepper. Some pepper on the peppers. So while those are cooking, I'm going to chuck my bread into the toaster. I tell you what man, this bread is so soft. Oh, I would do it like just like that with just the bread without even toasting it straight up. But I'm going to toast it. another couple of pieces ready and he got one of those two sliced toasters yeah I just want to be able to show people that um, they aren't already eating dumpster food to those that um, 
sort of thing. Ew, yuck, you know, what the heck are you doing? That it's safe, that it's um, people all over the world that dumpster dive for food for whatever reasons that they have. That it's, um, that no one dies from it. And um, it's all part of our socio-economic makeup, you know. Before we were colonialized, we had every means of um, being able to feed ourselves, house ourselves, look after ourselves, you know. And, and Maoris in my culture in New Zealand we were able to do those things. And um, yet we were called savages, and I um, didn't know what a you know what it was like to be civilized. But before we came, before we were colonialized, we already had names for everything. You know, we already had our own health system, how to look after the nature, how nature looked after us. We spent thousands and thousands of years doing it. So. Um, in this day and age, we don't have the land to be able to do that, so we just do for whatever means. But me doing dumpster diving isn't it does help with my expenses, but it's a hobby that I love, and I see the value in it. There's huge value in it. So anyway, this bacon and peppers and if you could smell this, man, it is crazy. Let me just see that. Those peppers are sweating off quite nicely, but get that back on the heat. Come on, get back on the heat. So I think what I might do is, I might just do an omelette. Might just do an omelette instead of fried eggs. Because that's what I was going to do. I was just going to fry the eggs. but Or even make some French toast. Uh, which still is an option. But I think I'll make an omelette instead. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cook that off. I'm going to put it in the bowl to the side. And then I'm going to cook an omelette, it'll be real fast. And as soon as I've got four eggs, <laughs> I'm going to make a real big omelette. <laughs> Those eggs are still in fabulous condition. Usually they can be um, a bit watery when they're old. They sink to the bottom of the water. You know, when you put them in the water, they... They sink and that usually tells you that they're bad. But um, there was none of that. I'm telling you guys there's absolutely nothing wrong with these eggs. They look as yolky and as creamy as you would if it just comes straight out of a chicken's bum. Ooh, that was cheeky. So you know what, I've got another frying pan here, let's get, let's get two on the go, right out, right out. Just a, just a small one, that's what we need. I'll just shuffle that over there. And, uh, Karate. I would normally use a bit of butter for my omelette, but I'm just going to use a little bit of olive oil. So we've got one bit of taste done already. Let's put the other one on. Can 
you hear that sizzling away? Geez, I so want to put some uh, mushrooms in there. <laughs> What's that, you should? It's your eating it. No, I just want to keep it real to the, um, you know, to the food that was collected from the dumpster. You know, without any uh, any other additions. That bacon is looking good. I'm going to turn that off right now and just let the uh, ambient heat just keep it warm while I get the egg ready. The taste is going away. It's heating up quite nicely. Okay, that's nice and good. Let's chuck this egg in there. Then in the sink. So the, one of the other herbs I got was some coriander from the dumpster. Oh, that's that still smells so sweet. I mean, the plant itself is probably over, you know, but all of the vegetation and the foliage on it is still good. So. I'm just going to get a little bit of a handful of that. Stalks and all. Stalks and all. Oops. Let's just give it a bit of a season. A little bit of a salt. A little bit of a pepper. Not grinding as well as I'd like, but oh well. I love pepper anyway. I like to over pepper things a little bit. Did you hear that? That taste just went off. So awesome. Our bacon is our bacon, sweet basil, and bell pepper is ready. Cool down. Yeah, eggs now. doesn't have to be so fine it can be as fine or as coarse as you like me I like mine a little bit coarse let's chuck that bad boy in there spread it all around see such fun Yes, yeah, so um, I had a real interesting time uh, looking at the dumpsters for the food. Uh, when I first opened up the lid, I didn't see anything. It was just a whole bunch of black plastic bags. And to be honest, on first sight, I was a little disheartened. And then after I dove a little bit deeper, see what was in there, it was like, wow, wow, what is that doing there? And... Um, if you're um, not sure what I'm talking about, check out the, my previous video, you know, previous to this one, and, and, and check it out for yourselves, what I'm talking about. I think next time I might change the uh, camera angle. Like turn around like around here somewhere but then you can't see the oh well so I can just start smelling that the um, omelette you see that guys It's ready. Oh my god. It's, a, it's as smooth as a pancake. And then like flipping my egg, I like doing a sort of like a Chinese sort of style omelette. And I like it quite wet. And I'll show you all what it looks like 
when this egg is done then I'm going to assemble everything, put it together so I'll move this over here and oop. come on play ball Look at that. You can smell that coriander come through. It's not as pungent as the um, as the um, sweet basil. It has its own flavour. I'm sure you already know, or you guys call it cilantro, I think. Cilantro. I'm so OCD when it comes to cleanliness, man. I just got to tackle it away and my wife is too she's equally as a clean freak as I am equally so we often clean up after each other <laughs> that's so funny so here's the bread I'm getting ready to assemble I can't help it guys I, I've just got to put some butter on here Sorry about being off camera so much. It is what it is. Okay, the egg is, it's good to go. Good to go. Not too much butter, I don't like too much butter, but I like, like just enough so I can like taste it. Just my own personal preference. Okay, that egg is cracker lacking. Might be over cracker lacking actually. I do like my egg to be a little bit runny. Ta da! Then. So, let's check this out. Let's take this here. Yummy yumsters, all the way from the dumpsters. Let's turn that off. Let's bring this bacon over here. First of all, I'm gonna. Well, there's some crunchy bits in there. There's some crunchy bits in there, but first of all, we've got uh, dumpster bacon and dumpster peppers with. Dumpster bas sweet basil, nicely seasoned. Don't mind me. I just like it's it's my OCDA. I I just have to make sure that like there's a a piece of there's a mouthful in every corner in the edge. So I like to make sure my food's right in the edge. <laughs> I've already got my um, sink with my hot water in there, so I can do my dishes. Because if you don't do your dishes, the missus won't give you any kisses. This ain't no Gordon Ramsay show. This this is the Bin Living with Big B show. Doing some cooking. And, uh, I mean, what's the use in, like, cooking every little bit and then you don't use it? You leave it, like, like a, a few squares on the, on the side. Why would you do that? You know, what else would have been awesome is, like, maybe a slice of tomato. Mushrooms again. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, um, yeah, let's just cut it in half. Let's just put the first 
part right there like that put the second part right there like this all right we're almost at closing time let's uh, put that down there and we are done folks so let's just uh, There you have it, folks. We have got dumpster bacon, dumpster peppers, and dumpster sweet basil with dumpster eggs, dumpster coriander on dumpster bread. Now the proof is in the tasting. Damn you. I mean, what can you say about bacon and eggs, really? The bacon is still soft and some nice crunchy charred bits around the edges. The peppers are well sautéed and nicely seasoned. It's still got that nice aromatic of the, um, of the basil coming through. The egg is soft and fluffy. It's a little bit more cooked than what I would normally like, but I ain't complaining. You can taste little hints of um, the coriander coming through. Nicely seasoned. The bread is tasted well, but still soft in the middle. That's a good sandwich right there, folks. To me, that even highlights how awesome the pit was last night. That is primo. So, you know, I would love to see, see you um, hit my subscribe button, like the video, share, tell your friends about us. So proud to be a part of a um, wonderful, positive community on a global scale that is dumpster diving. And um, just a big shout out to all those other dumpster divers out there. You know, it's a tough and can sometimes be a real scary thing. But we're doing, re we're really doing good. We're doing good for more than just the environment and saving things from going into the landfill. We're doing things for our own family. We're doing things for other, other families when we donate. And the range is, is long and it's wide and it's high and it's deep. It's every kind of possible item that... that that has ever been man-made from clothing, from food, to just nicky nacky things that our kids will enjoy. And I'm so honoured and blessed. Um, to be accepted into this global community. So anyway, guys, 
dumpster food cooked and eaten and tastes fabulous as if I just pulled it out of the shelf and paid bacon ten dollars a pepper two dollars eggs four dollars coriander basil three dollars each you know we're looking at a sandwich that if you were to buy at a shop cost you five bucks or something 10 bucks, whatever it is over there. I know what it costs over here, and this is like a $10. Easy. And we're able to do it for absolutely free. Uh, to me, that's amazing. So anyway, just big mad loves to all of you out there. I really appreciate you washing, uh, watching <laughs> and washing. Now, I really appreciate you watching. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like and the share. Uh, it, it, I just can't express how much mad love I have for you all. So anyway, I'm going to go and finish the rest of this. And you guys all have a wonderful day. Cheers!